What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. Back out on the water today for another Wednesday afternoon tournament. So I'm really excited because we've had a bunch of rain here recently and it's actually brought the river up and we got some pretty good current for this time of year and some pretty good water clarity. It's a little bit chocolatey, not terrible, but sets up perfect for a top water bite into pads and maybe at some ditches. So got old Lee with me again. We're gonna see if we can get them today. I think it's gonna take some weight just because of the way things have set up. We got 13 boats. I'm guessing it's possibly gonna take 15 pounds to win. So hopefully we can get them. We're gonna run up. We're probably gonna start in some ditches as long as nobody else is on them. And hopefully we catch a big old bag today. Let's Stay get them. Tuned. Let's get them. All right, Lee. Let's go to work, boy. Yep, here it is right here. Yep, let's do it. Let's get them. Got the mouth of this ditch right here. These wakes right now are a little bit, a little bit rough, but uh, we're gonna let them settle out. Hopefully we get a big one right up here at the mouth of this ditch right here. We'll know like first cast or first couple cast. I'm gonna take the bug, I'm gonna throw the rage bug up there first. If they're up there good, then we'll catch them pretty quick. Or get bit pretty quick anyway. They're there. I see them. I see them on the live scope. They're sitting there. There's some wood out there in front. And they're sitting on it. All right, y'all. So we just pulled up right here to this ditch. I'm not sure if any water's coming out of it just because of the, the height of the water of the river itself. The river might be a little bit too high, but... I know darn well of some fish up there. Water's got really good color to it. But we're gonna try this ditch thing to start off with, see if we can get bit. I'm gonna flip the boat over, Lee, back into the current. But we're gonna fish this, and then we're gonna go down the shoreline and fish these pads. And I just got a feeling, just in general, that the fish are gonna bite good. I just, I got that feeling, so. Maybe I'm right. Maybe everybody will catch them. I just popped right through that wood right there. Definitely think it's gonna take some weight, but that pad bite might be on, you know, it might have them pushed up shallow. This ditch deal might not even be, be what's really on. But we're gonna try it out and see. Watch this, Lee. Yep. The old buzz bait. All right, so we're gonna go down this shoreline and just work these pads. I'm throwing the buzz bait, Lee's throwing the Rico right now, kind of right off the front of him, but, oh, he's throwing the frog, he's done picked up the frog, so. We're gonna go down, the water is up, you know, it's kind of in the woods a little bit, but I think these fish are definitely gonna be up and feeding, I believe, and I think we're gonna have a good chance to get a big one to fire off and bite. But we'll jump around and do whatever we gotta do. Just hopefully we can get some fish in the boat kind of early, get our, get our groove going and, Get five. Got to get five in the boat. That's the name of the game. All right, Lee, we're going to have to go to the Chowan and flip trees. Yep. Yep. I think that's what we're going to have to do. Have not seen enough in these pads to keep me keep me going like this. I was definitely expecting to have gotten bit more than we have. We got one bite and that's it. We fished for about, I don't know, 20 minutes probably. Yeah, at least 20 minutes. It's 5.03. So yeah, we've been fishing at least 20 minutes. So I think we're going to have to go flip some, flip some trees and go down and I mean, maybe even throw top water on some of the hard, you know, hard cut outside banks. But right now the pad deal just is not on so we're gonna 
go set up and get some fish on some current breaks and see if we can get on that bite. I'm pretty sure we can. I kind of hate it because I'm running low on swamp water blue rage bugs, but that's all right. We can get them on that blue crawl. I'll throw a couple more casts and we're going to roll. That's it, we're gonna move. We're gonna move. We got to make a move. Can't waste no time in these afternoon tournaments. Nope. Gotta live by your decisions. All right, y'all, we're gonna do a little bit of flipping. Go see if we can get bit on some of these outside trees on a deeper outside bend. If we do, we're gonna run with that. If we don't, then we're gonna do something else. <laughs> do something else, but the water down here is a lot cleaner. I mean, way, way, way cleaner. So hopefully we pull up here and we start snatching. That is the plan. Put the old rage bug to work. Oh yeah, it's a lot cleaner. I think this flipping bite should be, should be decent. But we're sitting in 20 foot of water right here. These trees are going to have some water on them. Yeah, hopefully we just were able to pitch these trees and get some bites kind of quick. That bite is yeah, just non existence right now. Yeah, every bite. There's one. Got it. That's a good one. Oh, there we go. On a raised bug. That's a nice fish too. He was out off that tree, Lee. He was out. He was out hey, in front. He hey, was out so in look. front. Good deal. Fish number one. Well, look, yeah, he was out in bait. front. When we're gonna throw a crankbait for when I just caught one flipping. Cause that's what you looking at. It would probably go in that way of him in. <laughs> Things keep going the way they are. Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't, didn't know. Just I came up and he was swimming with it. But I done pitched up there like three or four times, Lee. But I knew it was a good spot because it's right here on this little point of trees right here in front. Right, yeah. All right, right well, this fish number one. Good deal. This fish number one. Maybe that got him fired up and maybe another one will bite. But I came up and he was out. He was out in front, like right on the drop off, kind of right on the break. It's like, it's a little bit of wood down there and I done hopped over it a couple times, but he finally bit it. Good deal. Man, it just, it just not a lot of bite. So it's 537 to give y'all an idea of time wise, 537. Got him on that blue crawl rage bug. Darn, that's a piece of lily pad hung on this thing. I mean, the current's running good enough for the fish to be biting decent. Just gonna have to just, I think we're just going to fish hard to get the bites. I mean, I think that's all it is, all it is to it. I don't think they're gonna come easy. Like I said, unless they fire up, you know, with an hour of daylight left or something, you know. But that was a flipping bite. Oh, God, Lee, Lee. What did I just tell you? I told you he was going to be, he was going to come up on it. Did he take one of my feet off? Sure did. Whoops. 
figured my bite was gonna come off that piece of wood right there. They're just being a little bit shy on it. They're just not, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. like they're not fully committing to it. So I'm gonna switch over to black and just see if that makes any difference whatsoever. I've seen it make a difference more times than I could think of. Got it? Where's he at? Where's he at? Yes, sir. That's probably hit. Was it right there where he blew up on it? That's him. Heck yeah, man. That's another, that's another nice fish. So that fish just blew up on my buzz bait and Lee pitched up in there and got him to bite again. So that's good. Good deal. That's a nice fish too. That's two solid ones. Hey, swap that off. Swap that over, Kevin, now to restart. To restart, okay. Y'all got a little bit of Nausea can in there with you? Yes, sir. They like they like that. They like having them Nausea cans in there. That Nausea can in there with you? Good deal. But that fish came up and showed itself. He did. So that's that's good. He did. That is good. So I'm gonna switch over to black now. We just got number two and we literally, I just caught my fish here and Lee just caught his fish right there. So maybe we're getting into them. We're getting in the very outside part of this bend. So maybe that's what's gonna make a difference. Maybe that's what's gonna matter. So we're gonna try it this black, but that's fish number two at 545. Good deal. Yep. All right, y'all, it is 619. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna fish down here just a little teeny bit further. We still only have those two keepers and I did lose that one little small one, but that's it. The bites are just really, really few and far in between. And I don't really know what else to say other than we are grinding trying to get bit and it's not happening right now. So we're gonna fish down this a little teeny bit further. We're gonna see what we can do. And then we're going to go down and fish another outside bend. Hopefully get a couple fish off of that. Because right now, it's very slow. That's really the only way I can, <laughs> the only way I can describe it. So we're going to fish right down here. I'm going to flip a couple of these outside trees. Lee's going to pick up the spinnerbait throwing that. So he's going to throw that a little bit. See if he can get one on that. And then we're going to make a move, so... I think it's definitely going to be one of them afternoons where if you can scramble five fish together, you're probably going to be okay. Kind of got that feeling. He ain't up there in that tree though. I can tell you that. You just lost one? He just got bit on the spinnerbait. on the mouth of a point over here at the mouth of a creek we're gonna hit that real quick got some current coming across it so i think maybe a couple fish might be set up like a drag of worm on them if we don't get on them then we're only gonna i'm only gonna fish it maybe five minutes That's not cool. long at all gonna fire a couple casts i'm gonna throw that worm up here and drag it see if we can get one to bite and then we're gonna we're gonna run to them ditches i just i've caught them here before on this point dragging a worm so i want to See if I can make it happen. I'm gonna just drag this trick worm right here. Took the red shed off. Yeah, I took it off. Yep. Let's see if I see much on here on the on the live scope. See a few fish up there. Definitely not a lot. You're kind of coming over them right now. They're right in there. Dude, I just dropped down right on top of them. 
See if they move on this thing. It's five fish sitting there. There's one. Got it. Look at that, Lee. Ain't that something? Check him. I don't know if he's going to keep or not. Dude, I saw them fish sitting right there. I don't know if he's going to go. Oh, he's got to be his twin, brother. Oh, my God. I thought he is. He's absolutely squeaky. I don't know if he's going to make it. No. Check him just to be sure. Good. Take Good. it all day long. Is he there? Yeah, he's there. He is a keeper. See that? He is a keeper. Oh, my goodness, Lee. I can't go. He can go to the scale of the bait. I don't want to. You see that? There they, there they are. I mean, they're... I know y'all hate to see it, but... I will admit, Livescope just caught that fish. I <laughs> sat right there and look. Look right at him. Yes, there's one right here. That's all right. There's a couple of suspenders right there, Sam. Yeah, so see them right there? Right there? That's, the the, that's the group that I yeah. caught them out of. That's the group that I called them out of. So it's three good ones sitting right there. That's three good ones. Three keepers anyway. Yeah. Got it? Good one too. Got him, baby. Four, boy. Number four. Good deal. Well, he bit it the first time. Lee got him on the shaky yeah. head. Yes. They're there. Yep, that's a keeper all day, too, man. 735. Number four, boy. Lee just got him at 735. Good deal. Got him on the shaky head. Got him on that mock crush combo. Seven foot. Good deal, boy. Yes, sir. Good deal. I'm gonna get one more to this limit out, man. Yeah, I'm throwing the mock crush bait caster, seven foot medium heavy, dragging this worm, and he's throwing the mock crush spinning seven foot medium heavy. So if y'all want any of the mock gear, got a link in the description below. Y'all can check it out. Got a discount code down there too for y'all to get some money off, save y'all some money. So we have got to get number five, but right now. Hey, looking good. I'm, I'm under you, say. So. Yep. It's it, what it is. It's a hump. I don't know if y'all can see. So I want to show y'all what I'm looking at. It's a hump right here, and the fish are sitting right behind it. Those are the fish. Y'all know I'm not a big live scope guy. This ain't the way I like to catch them. But they're so down. They're right on the backside. You almost can't see them, but they're just sitting there, dead still. And we've done been able to pick up a couple fish out of that group. I know it's a couple bigger ones down there. We just got to get them to bite. Okay, you might hate because, I mean, it's 748. Yeah, 748. <laughs> so we don't have a ton of time. I mean, we've got to go hit that corner, hit that ditch, and boil out of there and head back to the ramp that's gonna be about all the time we got but that's a i mean hey we fished hard man but that's why you that's why you keep grinding and fish hard because you just never know you could pull up and those two fish we caught those two keepers i mean they could have been full pounders yes sir you know so Easy. yep you just you just don't know but one thing i do know we got to get it we got to get it. You just going to strap that back there? Yep. Okay. Seven forty-eight.
gonna end it right here. This is gonna be it. I've actually meant to tone it down a little bit before we got to here. I'll tell you, just shoot past and then come back. And yeah. Let it settle down. But what we'll do, we'll just start right here, fish down to that, and then we'll come back and hit this mouth. Come on, baby. Let's get it done, doggone it. Let's get it done. This is gonna have to, well, I forgot I broke that off. This is gonna have to be the last cast. Ooh, not that. What is it? Eight, ooh, it's 8.12. Dude, we gotta go. We have got to go. Golly. Oh, I know, man. <laughs> man. Sucks when you fish that hard and, I mean, dude, we didn't get many bites today. What'd he get? Maybe six or seven bites at the most? <laughs> dude, this is a mess up here, but we just gotta, we just gotta strap and roll. We're gonna have to put the old Ranger in the wind. Good, all right. All right, y'all, well, we're headed to the weigh-in. We're gonna see, see how things shake out. Right now, it ain't looking too good. But I don't know what anybody else did either. I gotta get on plane to get away from this darn horse fly flying around my face trying to eat me up. But I don't wanna scald out of here because I don't know what's under here. Yeah, that right. As y'all could see, that was a pretty tough afternoon of fishing, I'm not gonna lie. The fish didn't bite nowhere near as good as I thought they were. I really thought after that rain with the river coming up, I thought those fish were gonna be absolutely chewing, but it just turned out it was really, really tough. But some people did catch them. You know, we only had those four fish to weigh in and we ended up with 6.30 pounds, which was good enough for six place out of 14 boats so we didn't do absolutely terrible and a lot of other people struggled as well but a couple people really got on some nice fish so big fish was 5.80 pounds and first place was 11 and a half pounds second place was 10 and a half pounds and third place was 9.8 so you know not terribly bad as far as like the weights up top but then once it dropped below third place, it dropped way down to seven and a half pounds. Somebody had 6.6 .6, and then we had 6.3. And then after that, it dropped way off. So if we would have had a fifth fish, it would have made a huge difference. And we would have been up there at least in the fourth, fourth place spot. So that's how it goes. You know, that's fishing. These afternoons, you know, they get really, really tough when you get here in the middle of the summer. We're coming up on August now and you know the bites are just getting tougher and tougher to get as the water temps climb higher so i really hope y'all enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe if you did and i will see you next time on gunfish tv